Sport Federation TV is the show that talks about all different codes of sport. There are 73 codes of sport in registered in South Africa. One of them is chess. Our partners on the show is the Western Cape Provincial Sport Confederation. As one of its members is Western Cape Chess. And one of its members is a young lady who represents South Africa. Anzal, Lopesha, you well? Yes, I'm well, thanks. Especially now that I'm a young lady. Good. Everybody's young. <laughs> <laughs> chess is an interesting game. But before we get to that, tell me what is your international title as a chess player? Oh, Alton, I wish I could say women's grandmaster, but I'm still stuck at women's international master, yes. Explain the different levels, because some people don't quite understand the different levels. How do you, get a grand, how do you become a grandmaster from an international master? How, what's the distinctions? Well, well there are different, different routes to take. The one is the easy way is mm. to win the African championships. Okay, as easy as that can get, yep. you can imagine. Um, the winner of the, the African individual championships will get a women's grandmaster title or in the men's section, a grandmaster title. Mm. And then there's also the hard way um, where you play for norms. So you need to obtain three women's grandmaster norms. What's a norm? Alton, you ask difficult questions <laughs> now. Um, it's a certain level that you, if you okay. have a certain performance in a tournament, then you get a norm. Okay. All right. It's, it's almost like a... Uh, strike one or strike two or strike okay. three. I don't know, you, you okay. spoke about baseball just yes. now, so I thought I'll just link up to that. <laughs> <laughs> so you get three norms, okay. and once you get the three norms and you need to obtain a certain rating, mm. then you get the Women's Grandmaster title. But okay. that's very tough, because you have to play in Europe and you have to play in or abroad. We, we mm. can't really do it in South Africa. Yeah. And, and in terms of, of our level of, of chess, how do we compete at international level? Are we on par or better than par? Just in, a, in an average space. In an average average space, we average. Okay. <laughs> we, we're in the middle. We're more or less in the middle. Yeah, women's, the men's and the women's team. In Africa, we're doing quite well. Mm. Um, we're getting there. We, we used to be a little bit higher in Africa, but I think we will we'll get there again. Yeah. Okay. People are more motivated now as well to, to play again. Yeah. My, my understanding is that there are so many different ways of preparing, like with any other code of sport. I mean, take us some of the, the steps that you as an international player prepares for a tournament or for a game? Alton, there, there are different ways and different, you, you prepare for different games or different tournaments you prepare differently. Mm. Like I had a different approach this year. Uh, it was the first time I ever did this. And I think, I don't really think any South African player did it in the past. Um, before I went to the Olympiad, we just came back from the Olympiad a, a few weeks ago mm. um, in Baku in Azerbaijan. And before that, I played for a month and a half, six weeks before that, I played abroad. I first played the African Championships in Uganda, and then I went to Spain for a training camp and to play two tournaments. Mm. And that made a huge difference. I played um, very tough tournaments, and I, I received training from some of the top trainers in Europe. Mm. And I went to the Olympiad, and I had my best personal Olympiad ever. So um, I, th I think in the future, that's the way to go. Mm. But that's that's one way. That's um, a costly way. But it's, it's, oh, <laughs> it's a very expensive way to go, yes, but it's yeah. worth it. It's yeah. worth it at the end of the day. So if you really want to invest, that's the way to go, mm. yeah. And then also, you know, for each game you prepare, you sit there um, the, the night before the, tour, the, the round, you get the pairings. So you will look at your opponent. So I see I play Alton David. So I will check on the database. Mm. There's a database with all the players' games. So then you sit... All their moves and everything? Yeah, the whole game. Wow. The whole game of all their games. So you look at it, and our games were, were live, for instance. Mm. So while you play, your game is on the internet. Okay. So tomorrow, when you, f when you play your next opponent, you can see the game that your opponent played yesterday. Okay. Or the day before. Yes. And then you prepare according to, to that. You normally, like I use the trainer at mm. the Olympiad. My trainer would look at the games and analyze the positions mm. and look at my opponent's weaknesses and strengths. And you, walk, you work according to that. Do people have signature moves, like an opening move or... Yes. Yes, you, you normally play according to your, your style. Okay. You know, there's, um, whether you're a position or a tactical player, then according to that, you play your openings according to that, yeah. Okay, so the, it's very strategic and very... Extremely. Is it? Yes, and you need to have a little bit of a good memory as okay. well. Memory helps. Memory helps, definitely it helps. But you, can you go and play a match with the crypt notes, as it were, of what you studied the night before of some of your opponent's moves? Or not really? No, Alton, this is I'm, not school. I'm just asking the question because people need to understand that you need to be focused when you're going to play this. It's a very good question, Alton. Um, 
it, in fact, this year at the Olympiad in Baku, they were extremely strict with, with um, anti-cheating. They had this anti-cheating campaign at mm. the Olympiad. When you walked in there, they scanned our bags. You, you're not allowed to have any electronic device, wow. not even a watch. Really? Because you know they have these iWatches yes, or yes, yes, yes. Apple or what was yes. Pia, Apple, Banana watches, yeah. whatever. <laughs> so they ha you, we weren't even allowed to have a watch on and not even allowed to take a pen in. Yes, I don't know how they do that with pens, but anyway, I need to find that one out. <laughs> but obviously no electronic devices, cell phones, no, because yep. all of us have apps on, on yes. the cell phone nowadays. So, and during the, the round, when you get up and go to the, to the ladies quickly or fetch a coffee or something, they can just pull you aside and say, come, and they scan you. They have these scanners. And so, so how long is a, is, is, a, is a typical match of chess at international level? Well, it depends, obviously, who you play and, mm. and all that, but and who the player is. Like, I'm a more positional player, so my games are normally quite long, like four hours, five hours, easily. easily. For a one game of chess? For one game. You're kidding me. Yeah. That sounds interesting, because now you need to sit and you say, okay, he plays that castle over there, and to that square, I could move here. Is that, is that how it works? Yes, and you have to look at, we call it candidate moves. Okay. So, if I move there, my opponent can move doof 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 you know and, okay. and you have to look at all those options before you make your move before you make your move yes okay. and sometimes it's quite a few moves that you have to think ahead you know have to calculate ahead okay okay I'll, I'll be honest sometimes we do look at the other oh i don't like that that hairstyle or that outfit doesn't work yeah. for that person you know okay so we did yeah you know, your mind does wonder just to give you a break of course of course yeah <laughs> let this let's take it a step back at at, at club level it does the same kind of system work or is it the same kind of ethos happens at club level for the juniors as well do they w is it is it a, a train of thought all the way through right into international level exactly what you just explained yes yes definitely definitely and we as a coach I, I, I coach a little bit as well and as a coach we try to install that that ethos mm. on the players from a very young age mm. as well where you play, you will see the little ones, they're 10 years old or 9 years mm. old or whatever, they will come to the coach, 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 I'm playing Pit Pompies, yep. and what, what does he play for white, you know? And mm. you talk about it, and you, yes. you show them certain moves, and or they will come to you and, coach, they play the Sicilian, I don't know what to play against it, help mm. me quickly. Mm. So it's it's really nice to see that they, that especially in the Western province, or Western Cape, yep. that, that that's happening, because we have the strongest league system and the biggest league system in the country. Okay. Yeah. It, What's next for you? I mean, as a player, where do you go from here now? Oh, Alton, it's a good question. Um, well, I'm, it's, since I had this training in, in Spain and, and I had a 180 in my chest, you know, suddenly it feels like I found America. You know, I, I've been playing since I was nine years yep. old, just the other day, but yeah. <laughs> um, and and it, now it only feels like I'm starting to play chess now. And I've decided now to take it on. I want to go for my women's grandmaster title. Um, I would big love step. to. It's a big step. It's very hard work. Mm. Really, it's hard work. And chess is sometimes a lonely game as well, you know, because you, you train on your own and you play on your mm. own. Um, so How do you play chess on your own? Uh, okay, like against app. a computer. Okay, okay. Against a computer. And you study, you study certain lines okay. and, and whatever as well, yeah. Okay. But um, I've decided to, to, to take this leap of faith. I'm going to play. Um, I would love to play for a year abroad, mm. just just play and train, um, but but we'll see, we'll see. I'm actually sacrificing my law career at the moment to do this, so let's see. Yeah. And if anybody's watching and prepared to give you a couple of rands, how do they go about it? What's the benefits for them? Is there a benefit for them? Yes, I definitely think so. I mean, it's a normal brand ambassador thing, you know. Mm. If if you have a, I think it's especially the investment companies, those type of places, you know, we we. It's all about strategic thinking yes. and whatever. Uh, I mean, if you look at the th on TV, you will often find they use chess, a chess board or a chess piece mm. or something. And I think that will be a nice link up, you know, and um, like a brand ambassador kind of thing. Mm. I think that's a good idea. And then, well, obviously, I have some skills that I can contribute, legal skills or whatever. But I would prefer to, to focus on chess mm. and, and play chess. But, um, yeah, if, if you look at chess players, especially, you will find, especially South African chess players, the national team and those players, most of them um, have tertiary qualifications, mm. you know, especially the ladies team, yep. our current ladies team. We have a psychologist, we have lawyers, we have um, accountants, you know, we have really highly qualified individuals. So there's always that competition because you, you do know that you, you need to have a career, but you want to play chess and, yeah. 
But it's not only those who have degrees that are good chess players. Not Let's at all. Let's just make that disclaimer. No, not at all. No, 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 no. It does. You don't need to have a degree to be a chess player. Mm. Not at all. It's it's got a lot to do about fighting skills, mm. Alton. You know, when 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 you have that. Um, I do for more. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, endurance, of course, mm. of course, but especially fighting skills. You yeah. know, chess is a war. Mm. It's it's a battle. It's a war game, and that's often why I don't want to go into this conversation. But that's often why, according to my, um, this is my opinion, why men sometimes play better chess than women as well. You know, it's that my dad used to say it's because women can't keep quiet for that long at the chessboard. <laughs> but I don't agree. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment. I'll le I'll let it one slide just like that. In closing, how do people follow you or make contact with you if they want to contribute to your uh, year-long career of traveling and playing chess full-time? Well, they're welcome to just, maybe they can just contact me on Facebook. That's fine. Um, I'm Zal Opsha. I'm, I'm quite a, a face, Facebook, Facebook fan. <laughs> um, I believe it's, it's good to, to, especially when you travel and, mm. and give some um, advertisement for the tournaments and stuff. I like to do that as well. So... Definitely um, on Facebook or on Twitter, also fine. Anzal, good luck. Thank you so much, Alton. <laughs> Come back with that uh, Grandmaster title. I will definitely do that. I'll try my best. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We've come to the end of the show. You can catch our repeats tomorrow morning. Also catch each segment on YouTube within the next week. If you're playing sport this weekend, have an amazing weekend. Give it your best. See you Friday next week, 9 o'clock. Cheers.